Re reincarnation is scary. Like coming back here is really, really, really scary. You can only imagine what that will be like. You know, being back here as another person, more confused than I, that, than I've ever been. Wondering what's going on, thinking that it's my first time here. Well, I've been here so many times before. Like, that is scary. That is torture. But when I think deeply about life, I don't think every human being is going to come back here. Like, if reincarnation is possible, I don't think each and every human will come back here. I think some people are way too conscious to have enough will to come back here, right? To still want to experience this. Like, some people will resist in every way possible. They won't want this experience again. And I don't think the archons, you know, the demons, the you know, the gods, like whatever you want to call them, that are controlling this reality, would want conscious people back here. Because conscious people will cause problems. When things don't make sense, conscious people will say, "Hey, that doesn't make sense." And they will wake some people up. <laughs> 20 years ago, almost everyone in this world was religious. But now you can see that, you know, there, there are a lot of people who are starting to see that, you know, these religions that we've been given are BS. They're starting to see that something is wrong with these religions because of conscious people. You know, people who can really think for themselves. So why would these beings that are controlling this reality want conscious people back here? What do they really benefit from having conscious people back here? They want ignorant people here. I think that's one of the reasons why if you are very conscious your life is going to be hard like things are just not going to make sense <laughs> you try to make things happen and they just don't happen and you're like what and then you see a person who's not conscious at all try to make the same things that you were trying to make happen happen and these things happen and you're like what did they do differently and you find that they didn't even do anything differently in fact, you actually tried harder than them and uh, you were more effective than them, but you still got negative results. Maybe you are a threat. There are beings that can see that you are a threat. That if they allowed you to succeed they allowed you to to become powerful then you will be a serious problem and maybe maybe these beings are not as strong as you think they are maybe it's not easy for them to analyze you maybe it's not that easy so they gotta make things hard for you because well they control the matrix they control people in the matrix they control how they respond to you, how they view you. I don't think conscious people are wanted in this matrix. I don't think they are actually uh, helping in any way. I think conscious people are destroying the matrix, you know. 
if you become so damn conscious that you're like, I'm not gonna have kids for philosophical reasons. Like you're so damn conscious, bro. Like you're gonna wake people up because people don't think that deeply. So when they see you and you are like, hey man, I'm not having kids for real. I'm just gonna live my life. I'm just gonna, yeah, enjoy myself. Like, you know, that will make them think. So you're a threat. Why would these beings that are controlling reality want someone like you in this reality where they want to control everyone? MLK, MLK got assassinated. Why? Steve Biko got assassinated. Why? Chris Honey got assassinated. Why? Malcolm X got assassinated. Why? The people who were in power didn't want them. They knew that, hey, these people, you know, these people can make a real difference. So, you know, they gotta go. But what if it's not that easy to unalive a person? What if these beings that are controlling this reality cannot just decide that, hey, I want this person gone and then the person will be gone? What if they have to reach some agreement with some, you know, other beings that have more power than them? Or what if... If you don't agree, maybe there's like this level that's higher than this where you have to agree to be unalived or, you know, to to go out. And if you don't agree, these beings cannot make that happen. So you're just going to be a problem. But here's the thing. Even though it seems like when you tell people the truth, they don't really wake up like they do. It just takes time. That's what I've realized. Like I've told you, there have been so many people that I've debated with that will come back to me and tell me the things that I've been telling them as if I'm not the one who told them these things. I'll be like, what's going on? Like, I'm the one who told you these things. Now you're woke. Now... (laughs) And you're trying to outwake me somehow, but I, I just let them unwake me. I mean, outwake me, because I'm like, it doesn't matter as long as this person is growing. You know, there's was, there been people that I've debated with like five years ago who come back to me and tell me the same things that I was telling them. But like, dang, that's weird. I don't even say much. I just listen. If you speak the truth. People will kind of sense that you're speaking the truth. And their faith, if they believe in nonsense, their faith will be shaken, even if they pretend like it isn't. I I pay a lot of attention to how people react when I'm debating with them. No? I'll debate with the person and they say something like, you know, no one will ever, you know, make me, uh, you know, stop believing in what I believe in. Blah, and I'll be like, why do you even say that? It sounds to me that you are actually convinced that what I'm saying is true. Because why would you say, like, I don't think I would ever say that. That no one will ever make me not, you know. Like, it means that I'm starting to not believe what I used to believe. So now I'm just fighting back. <laughs> I'm like, no, I gotta, you know, I gotta, I gotta stick to what I believe in. So no one is gonna make me not believe what I believe. You know, you are a serious problem. You are a serious problem. Like if you're conscious, because a lot of people are not conscious. Today I went to the mall. You know, I just wanted to check a few things, and I was observing people, and I was like, if I wanted to have a deep conversation with these people, would they really understand me, or they will behave like NPCs? I was like, of course they'll behave like NPCs. I was like, there are very few people who are actually conscious that can actually see the truth in 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 in, in different situations. 
like a lot of people are very very delusional so of course if you're conscious you 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 you're something else I remember giving this example that there's this guy in 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 town in Job like they 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 play this game I think it's called Monopoly or something like that where they they'll take um they'll take something like and put it inside like they'll take a body cup and cover something I think they'll have two body caps and then they'll cover this thing in an, in one of them then they'll move these bottle caps and then ask people where it is if you know how like the, the whole thing is a scam if you stand there and actually watch them and actually figure out how it works they won't want you around or they'll tell you to, to fuck off because you're gonna expose them they're gonna they're not gonna make money because they, they 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 want to scam people they want to scam ignorant people so if you are conscious you might actually tell them oh this is how the game is played they don't want you they don't want you around i think pastors like these fake pastors that be preaching nonsense they want someone like me in their church they don't because they know that i'll wake people up if you are lying to people and there was this one person who knew that you were lying to them, you don't want that one person to be among these people like you want them all, you know away from these people because you you are lying to these people right so some of us are so damn conscious that the beings that are controlling this reality don't want us around and that is why some of y'all even feel like ending things sometimes you know? It's because things are not working. Like if, if, if you are doing the right things and things are not working out, you'll sense that. You're like, ah, huh. but nah, man. This is, I'm not going through hell because you know, I'm doing something wrong. It seems like there is something that is ensuring that I, I'm, I'm going through hell. Because I am doing things right. That's why everything is upside down. That is why you you see people who are like really really unconscious and doing things wrong succeeding and you're not succeeding and you don't get it you're like nah man it doesn't make sense because this reality is being controlled by forces that we don't see so it doesn't really matter what you do that's why you feel like uh, you have bad luck <laughs> so I don't think some of us will be afraid that we're gonna come back I think what they way too damn conscious man like how many people do you think are as conscious as I am like have you ever met a person who is as conscious as I am have you ever met a person who's as conscious as you are like there are very very few people so should you be afraid that you're gonna come back here if there are a lot of ignorant people? If there are a lot of people that can be controlled and you're not very easy to control, you're not very easy to manipulate. You think this this these these beings that are controlling this reality wanna you know deal with you? They want ignorant people here. Yeah. People who don't know right from wrong, people who don't think for themselves, people who believe anything, people who um, worship authority. People who are perpetuating their own suffering. Those are the kind of people that are wanted here. If you are a conscious person who is against all this nonsense, of course you're not wanted. So these beings, he going to be trying to bring you back and you you yourself will not be trying to come back now these beings will be like Ish. yeah that one that one was a problem we don't we don't want to be dealing with that anymore you know there are a lot of people who, who were unconscious and and who actually 
became conscious because of this guy. And that's one of the biggest reasons why I'm telling y'all that you should never dim your light, right? If you're operating at a very high level of consciousness, continue to operate at that level. Don't dim your light because you're trying to fit in and you're like, hey, if I if I dim my light, at least, you know, people are going to... No, don't dim your light at all. Because if you decide to dim your light, you might end up becoming less conscious than you are because you're trying to dim your light, you see? But if you don't dim your light, you're going to become more and more conscious. Which is something that's really, really important because you need to always be becoming conscious. You don't need to be trying to conf- like to be trying to fit in trying to conform that is that's not gonna help you 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 can see that something is is wrong why are you trying to conform in a world that is wrong what are you really hoping to gain So don't dim your light, you know, be exactly at your best and let the world respond the way that it responds. You're on the right path, you know, if you are asking the right questions, if you are doubting a lot of things that were being told that just don't make sense, you are really on the right path. And that's very important for you to know. There are a lot of people that I've communicated with who have told me that things are not working out for them. And I'll ask them what they try to do in their own lives. And I'll see that, no, these people have actually been doing things right, but things just didn't work out. And I was like, it makes more sense to believe that there are forces that are making things hard for them because it seems like people who are conscious go through the same things you know things that uh, demoralize them or people that are not conscious are not going through these things you know sometimes when you experience life a certain way and you tell another person who hasn't experienced life that way they will not believe you let's say for an example you try to find a job right um you know how i feel about jobs but but just just say you try to find a job because you are really in a situation where you really do need a job you keep on trying you keep on trying you keep on you try everything you you can see that you you all you, you you are overqualified for you know, most jobs that you're looking for, but you're not getting you're not getting a job at all. And you talk to someone else who's got a job, you know, maybe they didn't struggle to get a job, and you're like, "Ish, I've been trying to get a job in this." Way. They they will think that you're doing something wrong. They will not think, "Hey, maybe there are forces that are operating behind the scenes that are making sure that this person doesn't get a job." Just to just to fuck with them, just to discourage them, just to make them feel powerless. Of course, if you're more conscious than other people and you live in a world where people are being manipulated, you're going to be a target because you are a threat. Why would these beings that be controlling this world want you on top? Why would they want you to be happy? Why would they want you to be successful? Why would they want things to work out for you? These are the things. The more things work for you, if you are conscious, the stronger you become. Right? Like most of you are actually strong, but you've been through so much that you are living in fear, like you are traumatized. <laughs> I remember I, I saw this meme on Facebook some years back with this like it showed a person who, who seemed to be suffering, and the caption said, God knew that if I didn't suffer, 
if if I if 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 I didn't go through things that traumatized me, I'll be very very powerful. That is why you make sure that I you know experience things that traumatize me. <laughs> Some of you would have been very powerful if you weren't traumatized. You 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 too damn conscious, but you have experienced a lot of things that other people won't even understand. It's like the whole world was against you from the beginning. You know, families you were born in. Your parents didn't understand you. Your grandparents didn't understand you. Your siblings didn't understand you. Your friends didn't understand you. It, it, it seemed like everyone was against you. That, of course, that's going to traumatize you. When you become an adult, you, 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 you live in fear because you've, been, you've experienced hell when you were little. So that's why things are hard for you, so that you live in fear, because you know things don't work out, right? So you must live in fear. Be like, ah, things don't work out for me, so I must just live in fear, because I have tried, I have done things right, but things still didn't work out. <laughs> you see? Man, if you are able to understand me, you are so damn conscious. I've communicated with a lot of people. Trust me, people are really, really ignorant, all right? Like, people are so ignorant, it's scary. Like, if you understand me, you are... Look, <laughs> I genuinely believe that there's less than 100,000 people in this world who are actually, like, actually, actually conscious. Like, 100,000. I think most people that you interact with are so damn unconscious that there's there's no hope. Most people that you interact with they are so damn unconscious that there's just no hope. As, you know, there are a few people who are unconscious, but you know, if if they are led towards the right direction, they can awaken. But most, most of these people that you interact with just can never awaken. Have you ever communicated with a person and you're like, okay, there's no way this person can awaken. Like, how? How? But, like, it wouldn't matter what they go through. Like, it is not possible for this person to actually awaken and actually see things as they really... Like, it's not possible. There's no hope. But there are some people, when you're talking to them, you can say, okay, this person is unconscious, but at least, you know, at least they kind of understand what you're saying uh, you know it seems like they're in their own path they're still growing you know one day they will wake up one day they will come back to you and tell you that they understand what you're saying or say the same thing that you are saying if they have a big ego not want to acknowledge that you're the one who actually made them wake up It's actually scary that a lot of people are still asleep. It's scary. So if you can understand me, trust me, there ain't many people who are like you. That's why you feel alone. You are supposed to feel alone, of course, if there ain't that many people that are like you. Because, well, it's true, you are actually alone, right? Because you're surrounded by people who don't understand you. I mean, if you are like, if you are lucky if you get to meet people who, oper who are operating at your level of awareness. Like, you're a very, very you're a very lucky person because there ain't that many people that are operating at a very high level of awareness. So today when I was at the mall, my fear for reincarnation kind of like disappeared. I was like, nah, I mean, there's no way I'm coming back here. I mean, look at all these people. If I try to have a conversation with them about anything, they'll prove me right. You know, they'll show me that I'm one of the few people who are actually conscious. So, if I'm one of the few people who are actually conscious, who will actually be able to think, you know, 
after I've left this room. Why should I be afraid if there are many people who are not conscious? It means these are the people who will still come back, who will be manipulated. You know, a lot of people, even people who don't believe in, that the Bible is true, if in the afterlife they met Jesus, they'll believe he's real. I've um, watched many videos of people who have uh, had like a near-death experience and who didn't believe in Jesus but who met Jesus. But that someone is a Muslim and then they have a near-death experience and they meet Jesus, now they believe in Jesus. A uh, person is not a, it's not a Christian, they meet Allah and they, they believe in, in, in Islam. People are very gullible. But a person like me will not, you know, believe anything really. I like, I would ask all, every possible question. Try to figure out what is actually happening. The same way that I'm asking questions. Right? I'm asking a lot of questions and that is why I make a lot of sense. It's because I'm trying to figure out what is really going on. So even in the afterlife, I'm going to be asking a lot of questions. I'm going to be trying to figure out what's going on so that I don't find myself back here or stuck wherever we're going, right? I want to awaken completely and understand what reality really is and um, understand how I got here and uh, how to not come back here. That's also very important, right? Because this has already happened. I can see that. But I don't want to be in this like falling state of consciousness where things don't make sense. It's it's torture. Where truth is a bad thing. That's torture, bro. If you desperately want the truth and you are demonized for wanting the truth, like that's torture. I read even um, even if um, um, I don't respond to every comment, but I read every comment. And I realized that most people who comment on my videos are very, very co conscious people. Like, there are really, 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 really few people in the world who are this conscious. I mean, uh, I, I do watch a lot of videos on YouTube. I do watch a lot of videos on TikTok. I do watch videos on Facebook. I, and I read the comments. And I can tell you a lot of people are unconscious. So, if you are that conscious, of course you'll be conscious even in the after because you're, you're conscious in your dream too right even if you're confused you're still conscious you're still yourself you still ask questions if you got stuck in the dream long enough you will be asking the same questions that you're asking now is that you know when a dream starts you are you are in it and you're kind of confused about what's happening you don't start to you know remember asking questions and all that but if you got stuck in a dream long enough, you will ask every question that you're asking in this reality. So, even in the afterlife, you will, you will be as conscious as you are. And that's one of the reasons why I told you that you don't actually escape the reincarnation trap after you've died. You actually escape it while you're still here. Because it's through 
like knowledge let me not even say knowledge but it's through reaching high levels of consciousness that you are actually able to escape if you if you were dreaming right now for you to actually wake up before the dream ends or before you, you are forced to wake up you'd actually be able to wake up by realizing that you're in a dream so it's through reaching high levels because because you'll be operating at a very low level of awareness that's why you'll not even be able to realize that you're dreaming when you're dreaming so if you operate at a high level of consciousness you'll easily realize that you're in a dream so even in this realm it's through operating at a high level of consciousness that you wake up even in the afterlife it's through operating at a very high level of consciousness that you keep on waking up remember when you were still operating at a low level of consciousness you were very easy to deceive right some of you were christians some of you were muslims uh, some of you believed in um, in new age spirituality some of you you know believe in everything they were telling you you know but now you're conscious now you are actually thinking right now you are saying you're no longer delusional your sanity is what's going to save you i think most of us ain't coming back here i mean people who are conscious i don't mean most of the people in the world but most of the people who are conscious like really conscious most of the people that i feel are conscious i don't think they're coming back here i think those those who come back will come back cuz maybe look by mistake you know it will just be a mistake it it just cuz there's be some people that are definitely coming back like it won't be a mistake they just just have to Because what will they be doing in higher rooms? You can see that they belong here. They still, <laughs> they still got a lot to learn. They still got a lot to understand. So they gotta come back here and you know, see the truth. It's like if a person lives in the street and. you know rob people and they've just they put themselves in the situation they they've had many opportunities to get out of that situation but they remain in that situation if you take them and put them in a house and be like hey man like this is better than living in the street they probably steal from you and go back to the street they're not ready to live in a house is it so there's some people who are just not ready to wake up you are stressing you are able to see everything that's going on because you are ready to wake up you can see that a lot of things that are happening just don't make sense because you are ready to wake up you are able to imagine a world that's actually better than this that's a sign that you are ready to wake up you are able to see through the bs because you are ready to wake up So even if things feel bad now cuz hey it does suck being conscious in a world full of unconscious people. It's like uh if you've watched the movie Damn, what's the name of that movie? Idiocracy. Now that guy that was considered to be the smartest person he's actually suffering because people are idiots. to crucify him for being right that sucks <laughs> that's what happens in this realm you get crucified for being right you know you lose friends for being right you lose uh, your partners for being right your you know family for being right you lose respect from people for being right you become an outcast because you are actually right You see how upside down everything is. 
so it sucks i ain't gonna lie to you it does really really suck but you shouldn't be that afraid because i don't think you're coming back I think you are conscious enough to say no. You are conscious enough to see when you are being deceived. I don't think these beings that be deceiving us are that smart. They just have more power, or not even more more power. But let me say, they have power that we don't have now, right? They can control some things that are happening. But they're not that smart. It's like if, if you were very, very strong person, like you like say you like you're very strong physically and they put you in prison. And the prison guards that you know um you know are watching you know are making sure that you know you don't you don't escape that wouldn't mean that they are stronger than you right that would mean that they just have the power that you do not have at that time you know they have keys they are allowed to go out they are given money and they are main you know what i mean they have authority there but it doesn't mean that they're more you know powerful than you are the beings that are controlling things here, they're not more powerful than we are. They, they, they've just been given power to control things for now. So, when you find yourself dealing with them face to face, I don't think they will they'll be able to outsmart you even if they wanted you back here i don't think they'll be able to to outsmart you but chances are they will just let you free bro you know they'll they'll communicate with with each other like i I don't want to be dealing with that you know like after you've left this room but like i want to deal with that I don't want to deal with like that person. Nah, let's let's let them go. Let let them figure it all out. That person is hard to tame. You know, the same way that you don't want to deal with like wild cats. They're hard to tame, right? So it will be like that. Like they're just not gonna want to deal with you. But like, nah. What what am I going to say to this person? I remember that there's been pastors that I've debated with. When I'm when I was debating with them, I could see that they do feel like saying some things, but they realize that I'm too damn conscious that these things just won't work, right? Like these are the the things that they they feel like saying. These are the things that that they should they say to, to to those who are not asking questions, those who are unconscious to their followers. But they can't be saying these things to me because I'm going to ask them the right questions, questions that they won't have answers to. I mean, think about it. How will, you know, these beings that are controlling this reality be able to manipulate you, really, in the after? Like, what will they need to tell you to make you feel like coming back here? What, what, what would work? You would refuse. They will show you the people that you love, and you refuse. Like, nah, I ain't coming back. Yeah, yeah I ain't going back there. They, they, they tell you that hey, if someone needs you help. I ain't going back here. They tell you that hey, you're a light worker. You know, you're a star seed. The world needs you. You need to awaken some people. Like, nigga, have you not heard what I said? I ain't going back there, bro. I ain't going back there even if the whole world needs me. Even if I'm the only one who can free, you know, free everyone. Like, nah, I ain't going back. I'm done. 
it was nonsense. Yeah, you you still got some lessons to learn, you know. But like, nah, I wasn't learning anything. I really wasn't learning anything. Uh, I was trying to survive. In fact, that world almost corrupted me because, um, you know, I ended uh, and I ended up uh, becoming resentful. Like I ended up uh, losing my cool. I ended up becoming angry and sometimes wanting to do things that are bad because of what the world has done to me. So no, no way. I wasn't dating anything. I'd be like, oh, karma. You know, you did this, you did that. You need to... Like, cancel out some karma or whatever. You're like, nah, I didn't even have free will, so you can't really judge me. You know, you have to understand that when you are here, it's like everything you do is wrong, really, because something negative is going to happen because you you are doing something, you know. So we can't just say people must come here, back here and uh, like the and and and, and bend their karma somehow. Like no, nah. it we are always fucking up. If I come, if I keep on coming back here, I'm gonna fuck up, <laughs> and there's no way that I'm not gonna fuck up. You see, no matter how conscious I am, there's no way, unless I live alone and I don't interact with anything. I don't even interact with nature, if that's possible. Yeah, maybe I won't fuck up, but as long as I'm living with people, I'm gonna fuck up. So that means that I will keep on coming back, and that is a trap. So no, you see. You will have answers to everything that they will throw at you. So it won't be easy for them to control you. It won't be easy for them to manipulate you. It won't be easy for them to convince you to come back. Because you're operating at a very high level of consciousness. And I do have a feeling that if they forced you without you agreeing in some way, like it just wouldn't work. It will be like, have you ever like been in a situation where, let's say you wanted to wake up at one o'clock. You slept at seven, you wanted to wake up at one o'clock and actually wake up around that time. Like if if you you tell yourself that I gotta or at least say you sleep in a place where you don't feel safe and you're like I don't wanna s I don't wanna sleep and then you accidentally fall asleep. You're gonna keep on waking up, right? Because you you have told yourself that you don't wanna sleep. So it's the same thing. If they forced you back here I don't think it would really work out. Like you kind of have to, they, they kind of like have to manipulate you and you agree fully to be part of this experience. If you're not going to agree fully, something is gonna go wrong, you see? So because of that, many, many of us who are conscious in coming back, No, except for those who haven't had enough. Because that happens, like, I haven't had enough. I still want to travel. You know, I didn't get to travel. So I, I still want to travel. Oh, I didn't get to have money. I got to have some money, at least I, so that I know what it's like to have money. <laughs> But most of us are like, nah, there's nothing this room can give me that there's nothing this room can give me that can actually make me love it.
there will always be a part of me that will be like, yeah, I'm enjoying this, but eh, this ain't it, bro. Yeah, I'm in love, but nah, this ain't it. Yeah, I got money, but nah, this ain't it. Yeah, I got the job of my dreams, but nah, that this, this ain't it. I live in the dopest house, but nah, this ain't it. Like, there's always gonna be a part of you that's gonna be like, because you're too damn conscious. So, maybe you shouldn't be afraid, or even, you know, even, like, hate people who are unconscious, or be mad at people who are unconscious. Maybe that the reason why things will be much easier for you in the afterlife. Because... The matrix won't need you, right? It will need them. Those are the ones who are operating at the level. You know, you know what that. What you know what it's like. It's like if, like pastors, for example. You notice that pastors preach to their, to to, to the, their followers, right? They don't go out into the world and just preach to everyone because they know that some people don't believe in their nonsense so they can't really because that's what they're supposed to be doing when you think about it like they're supposed to go out and preach to the world but that's, that's not what they're doing they're preaching to their followers why because their followers are listening their followers you know believe their beers they won't go out into the world and actually preach even though that's what they're supposed to do So these icons ain't gonna wanna be dealing with those that don't agree with them, those that are not operating at the level of consciousness that makes it easy for them to control. Right. Don't be like, hey, we know our people. What I keep on working on is becoming more conscious. I know that last year around this time, I was not as conscious as I am now. Like the more I know, the more the more I experience life, the more I conscious I become. I don't necessarily become conscious by experiencing bad things. You know, I observe everything. Now I pay attention to everything, even the good things. I keep on becoming conscious. And that's the focus, is to see things as they really, really are. Because we are not supposed to see things as they really, really are. We ain't being programmed to see things as they really, really are. So that's what I, I keep on working on. And also making this video, that these videos, that does help me become more conscious because I take my time to think. You see, you know, like when I make videos, I already know what I'm going to say. I dig deep. I find what's hidden in my subconscious, and yeah, it. I bring it out. I'd be like, damn, this is, you know, this is this is real, and that helps me too. Because if I wasn't making videos, maybe I wouldn't think as much as I do. 
about these things you know like i will think about these things that i talk about but not as much as i do now because i make videos you know if i record a, a video that's like an hour long talking about one topic of course i'm learning too you see of course i'm learning Thank you, guys.